Hi, my name is Diana and I'm one of the technical consultants at Pragmatic Solutions. I presented in our previous video the holiday application and its capabilities, and today I'll go through the approval workflow that sits behind the application. This is connected to the common data service in Dynamics 365, where the application is fetching its data from, as well as the Power Automate approval workflow. In this video, I'll take you through each step of the automation happening in the background while a request is being submitted and the logic behind it. As you can see in the first step of the flow, this will be triggered when a leave request is going to be created in the database as soon as the user is going to submit a request through the mobile app. Next, we will need to get the leave request that has been created, the user that has submitted it, and the leave allowance associated with that particular user. In order to get the label of the dropdown value for the leave type, the string maps entity within the current environment needs to be listed. This step is required in order to get the actual name of the option selected. That's because option set values are stored as numbers. This is then being assigned to the previously created variable, which now will show the option as needed. Next, we will need to check the type of request that has been submitted and if it's holiday, it's going to start an approval. As I showed you in the previous video, there are multiple types of leave requests that can be submitted. But in this example, only the holiday type is going to start the approval and calculate the remaining balance. This is how the approval looks like. Assigned to is going to be the list of managers or whoever is going to approve or reject the request. The body of the email that is going to be sent dynamic details, um, duration, the beginning, uh, the start date, and the end date, and so on. After this has been sent to the, to the manager, uh, the flow is going to wait for a response for the, from the approver. And if it has been approved, this is then going to update the created leave request, and it's going to change the status to approved. If this has been approved, the user is going to receive an email saying that your request has been approved and all the details they have been submitted and some manager comments. However, if the request has been declined, the leave request is going to be set to decline. And again, the user is going to receive an email saying that your request has been declined, and again, the same format. However, if the leave type is not going to be a holiday, let's say it's going to be of type sick, the manager is going to receive a report saying that this employee uh, has submitted this kind of leave type, which I previously show you with string maps. Again, same details, and the user is going to receive uh, an email saying that the request has been submitted. Again, same format. However, if the leave type is going to be sick, this is going to calculate uh, a total of sick days that have been used by uh, that particular user, and it's only going to be visible to the managers. Basically, this is going to add the duration selected by the user uh, and is going to add it to the current sick days used. That's it for now. I hope you find this useful. And if you have any questions, then please feel free to contact us using the detail on screen. Our email is marketing at bramaticsolutions.co.uk or you can phone us on 01908-038-110. Thank you.